Hello and welcome to You Code Africa, the Pan-African European Environment Magazine. I'm Neil Tagbe, coming to you from the beautiful Shodex Garden in Lagos, Nigeria. Today's program is a special edition featuring insects and the crucial role they play in our environment and ecosystems. But here's a quick look at that and some of today's other topics. Mozambique's biggest national park is a treasure trove for insect researchers. We find out why that is. We will be talking to entomologist Sunday Kesi in Nairobi to hear about the current state of the insect world in Africa. We will also be talking about food waste. A young French woman has come up with a simple solution, a way of tackling the problem. Insects, they are everywhere. They are an outstanding 900,000 different kinds of living insects known to scientists. That accounts for about 80% of the world's species and new ones are being discovered every day. That discovery or those discoveries are thanks to the dedication of researchers like the team that's at the Mozambique Gorongosa National Park. No prey is too small. Here in the Gorongosa National Park in Mozambique, Ricardo Guta is out hunting. But he's not looking for lions or elephants, he's looking to bag insects. This insect belongs to the beetle family, the ground beetle family. If you touch it, it secretes an acidic liquid. Ricardo works with entomologist Piotr Nascreci in the E.O. Wilson Biodiversity Laboratory. One objective of this research facility is to document the diversity of its insects. What did you find, Ricardo? I found some insects here. Yeah. Okay. Some odonata, some beetles, and some apoptera. Okay. In Gorongosa, international scientists work with locals to find out about Mozambique's rich biological heritage. Ricardo has caught thousands of insects for the park's team of experts to identify. Black spot on the pronotum, yeah. and it usually has some black markings on the legs. This is a family Catantopida. The Gorongosa database contains information on all the animals and plants found in the park, and that includes insects. They play a key role in the food chain. Ricardo Guta assists with scientific research and monitoring. They're always very colorful. After nightfall is when insects come into their own. Piotr Nascreci has set up a light trap, based on the principle that moonlight influences insect behaviour. Believing the artificial light is the moon, the insects begin to spiral so that they remain parallel to the light source. It is insects who actually run the world. Mm -hmm. uh, they are some of the most important elements of almost any ecosystem, uh, almost any terrestrial ecosystem. Uh, they provide a number of services without which we wouldn't be able to function. So things like pollination, you know, all these moths, mm -hmm. without them, all the trees and plants without, uh, around us wouldn't be able to produce fruit. The people who live near the national park benefit from the protected area in a number of ways. Locals used to live mainly from poaching, now they have regular jobs. The researchers are working tirelessly. With the help of nets, they also want to find out more about the feeding patterns of bats. They make most progress at night. Jen Guiten, an expert on bats, is using an instrument to identify sounds that human ears can't normally hear. But yeah, he is pretty light. Now oh, she's angry though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is five. Oh, no, no, no that, that was a warning call. No, she's angry. This is a location. The recordings are highly informative. Gorongosa is the perfect place to study this because we have a high diversity of bat species, a high diversity of insect species, 
and we're surrounded by areas that suffer from malaria and also where people grow crops. So it's an ideal place to study the interaction between bats and insect species that plague humans. It's believed that scientists are only aware of about 10% of existing insect species. In coming years, the researchers at Gorongosa Park will likely discover thousands more, thanks in part to Ricardo and his net.